So first things first, we have to decide on a good mounting location. That for me is going to be right here on the lid of the existing fuse panel. This truck, by the way, is a 2013 Ram 2500 with a 67 Cummins. I'm going to mount the panel right here in my low voltage disconnect right on top of it. And I've already checked the clearance with the hood and make sure everything closes all nice and neat, nothing's hitting. So here I have two red cables for the positive, one going from the battery to the low voltage disconnect, the other one going from the disconnect to my fuse panel, and then a negative to go from the fuse panel to the battery. By the way, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I'm going to link it in the description below so you can check it out if you want. For the disconnect, it has this base plate. I'm going to go ahead and uh, it came with one opening, so I'll go ahead and knock out this other side here. So after further consideration, I decided that I'm not going to drill into the lid on my existing fuse panel simply because the, the top side, the inside of this lid actually has the numbers of the fuses and what they go to. So I don't want to mess any of that up. Uh, with that being said, I decided just to clean this off as best I can and use some heavy duty double sided tape see how that holds up. If it doesn't, then I'll figure something else out, but we're going to go with that for now. secure. I left those bricks on there for about 30 minutes. Now it's time to wire up my, my cables. Um, I got two lengths of red, a shorter one and a longer one for the positive and a length of black cable. I pre-measured these before I bought them to make sure I had enough for each.
vintage disconnect box. On the back side, we have these two posts and also some other um, blade type connectors. Now there is a, uh, a switch, a override switch that comes with this that you can wire in to where if it's drawing power off your battery and it shuts off, you can flip that override switch to, to turn it back on and continue using whatever you're running off that battery. There's also, you can also wire in an alarm to notify you when the battery shuts off. I'm not going to worry about any of that for now. I'm just going to run the straight disconnect and I may or may not wire in the uh, switch later. But these posts are labeled A and B. So A goes towards your battery and B is going to go to the fuse panel. So update with the low voltage disconnect. Um, I figured this out after um, I tried to hook up an accessory to my fuse box, won't get any power. So I checked the uh, connections with the voltmeter. I was getting um, power into the low voltage disconnect, but not out of it. And I figured out that um, I'm gonna need a ground. So on the diagram, there's blade number one on the back side of the low voltage disconnect is label number one. So we're just gonna have already cut a length of wire. We're gonna run, I'm gonna run a terminal connector, a uh, ring connector on one end and a blade connector on the other. We're gonna plug it into that number one and see if this works. Alright, so now that we have our ground all hooked up, we can test the voltage. Going in, I have 12.68, and on the other end, 12.68, 6968. So, that fixed it. Previously in the video, you saw I was using some uh, heavy duty 3M double sided squares. Um, it's still holding up very well for the fuse panel. 
but the low voltage disconnect, I guess it's real close to these cooling lines and it, it just didn't hold. And only had two squares left. Um, so I ditched that and I bought some, I wish I had it in front of me, um, some 3M, I think it's called VHL or VHD or some type of uh, like super heavy duty double sided tape. Um, I don't have it in front of me to show you, but I'll, I'll put it uh, a link to it below if you want to check it out. I've had it on here for a few days now and it is holding up tremendously well. I mean, it's saying, is it moving anywhere? So I highly recommend that tape. If, you know, if you're looking for something a lot more secure than those, uh, those double sided squares. All right, hope you liked the video. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought of this, and I'll see you next time.